So some of you watched me design my first game for the play date. If you don't know what the play date is, it is a handheld uh, video game console. I guess I should show you. I, maybe not console. It's a handheld. If you don't know what it is, this is the play date right here. It's a very simple uh, handheld gaming device that you can pre-order right here. But you can also design your own games for it in a web browser. They've been kind enough to put it up in a web browser. And I wanted to show you guys uh, how to make your own game. Because some of you guys might be interested in this. Designing your own game for the play date. I'm not great at it. But you guys will be able to get great on it. Because uh, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I know. Some of the mistakes. And then you guys, when you watch this later in the comments on YouTube. You can put all sorts of stuff in the comments and ask questions. And we'll all work together to design our own play date games. So this is the game that I designed at first. Uh, I'll show you what it's like. Super simple, but I'm going to design another one. Yes, you get to do your own music, which I will show you how to do that. Use these buttons on screen. This is not for the play date itself, obviously, this version. To move around. Yes, you get to write your own script. You found a floppy disk. You get them all. Also, it says G Fuel up there, in case you didn't notice. Found a floppy disk. You collect all the disks. That's the basic setup. And you move to the computer. And it says, you found all of the G Fuel. Whoops, I screwed it up. You drink tons of G Fuel. You destroy all your enemies in every game that you play. The end. That's my first game that I designed. So if you go back, the first step is go to play.date slash pulp. That is the website. Play dot date slash pulp okay this defaulted to my original game but if you want to make a new game just click the little plus sign right here uh and then we'll do new game we're gonna call this one mayor verse we're gonna create okay now we are in mayor verse author mayor reynolds tv intro welcome to the mayor verse Okay. Uh, room. Card or start? Edit card room. Okay, so this is the base. Uh, this is what you start with right here. You start with this. Everybody, every game starts with this. So then if you go to... Uh, there's a font up here that you can mess around with. Then you can go to, to room. Here's a little finish thing right there. Uh, go to tiles. This little, uh, it looks like gray and pink, but it's actually just gray. The pink is what it shows your selection. This is how you change your level uh, size. I should say room size. There's the finish right there. Uh, if you go to exits, that's what this thing is. Exits connect to another room or display an ending. Click anywhere to place a new exit. Click an existing exit to drag it. Drag an existing exit to move it. This is actually improved already uh, since the last time I used it. I don't think this was there last time. So it tells you what to do there. Player. That, that's you right there. But you can place yourself in a different place if you wanted to. Uh, sprites. And look right here. There's import and export stuff. So you can actually import your own sprites if you don't want to use uh, what's... what's cooked in items these are the floppy disks that you see right here so if you want to place another disk let's say you want 10 disks you can create more disks i think uh how do you remove a disk though oh shit shoot now there's a ton of disks i i, I don't want that many disks <laughs> uh but you can change what it says when you pick it up right here by the way you found a floppy disk. You'll see that later. Um, or it plays it for you right there. I don't know what this is. What? Ooh. I don't know if I meant to do that. Did that get rid of all the disks? Or... I think I changed it to the wrong color. Well, that's not good. Is there an undo button? I can't remember if there was an un undo. There you go. Undo. 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 There we go. Now we're back. So you can undo and you can redo. Right there. There you go. We're learning live, right? 
I deleted all those things, and when I were basically back to the beginning. Uh, up here, show hide grid over the room. Show hide walls. Show hide marks. Edit room script. Sample. I don't know what this is. Like, how do you change? We're playing, aren't we playing Fortnite? I thought you wanted to play Fortnite Tilted Towers, but if you want to play something else, we can. Um, there's sounds here. And then you can do a song. This is where it gets, it got fun for me, to be honest. There's the, uh, there's different, uh, sounds or like instruments here. So this is the one called Sawtooth. So obviously I screwed that up. I don't know. You can undo that too. No, you can't. Redo. How do you how do you start a new one? I don't like that sound either. You don't want to wear a shirt. All right, where's the new song button? So you can change the beats per minute right there. You can change the volume, sustain, release. Voice, yes. Okay, there's, so there's the reset button. I don't like Sawtooth, to be honest. How do I get rid of that? Okay, that didn't work. It's still there. But you can, okay, you can add multiple uh, instruments. And you got to remember, you have to space these out. You're not playing it in time. This is this grid is your time. So now I'm playing two tracks over each other. So you can actually do. This sounds terrible. One, two, three, four, five, five tracks. Uh, here we go. New song. That's what I want to do. Great. So you don't you don't have to perform it. You can you can place it out. What's the square? So you can do this is what it's going to sound like i just i'm totally i'm not doing very well with this So that's the song I just wrote. Now it's going to put it over your game. So now, and we're not done yet. But if you go to play, and you can play it as many times as you want. It doesn't ruin anything. You start moving. Oh, my song's not going. So now we're going to go back. We're going to go to song. And we are going to do... Let's see, full game, audio runtime, songs. Where's my song? How did I get my song into there? We're, we're learning live all over again. Damn, does it sound bad? I was going for the Mario song. Uh, song. I don't know. I, don't, I feel like it's it's export, but I don't think that's right. It's got a lot of tools in here. By the way, you can change uh the theme of the whole thing. There's a whole different bunch of themes here. I kind of personally like the green one. Schools out is decent and sunny day is decent. So if you want your game to have a different vibe, there you go. Uh, let's go to script. So 
go to uh, game and then you can do uh, computer. So this is when you're picking up the floppy disks, right? So when you first type to the computer, it says you could play a game on this old computer if you had all the floppy disks, but you can change this. This is when you interact with the computer before you get all the floppy disks. So you could say, collect the disks. They have the FBI needs them to stop an attack on twitch.tv and then here you go when you pick one up you found one floppy disk and once you pick picked up all four you found all the floppy disks and it says you will the way the afternoon on the computer the end uh that's not what i want to say you use the disks to save twitch.tv. The end. That's my script. For the, the point of this, at least. Uh, and you can add other parts here. It gets a little more complicated when I'm not really sure what I'm doing, to be honest. Uh, so let's go back to the sound. Let's see. Song. How do you export? Export. So you can save this, the files. Finish that story. <laughs> you can save the files on your computer. That's not what I meant to do, though. So here's my song. How the hell do I put it in the game? I don't remember. So I've got the song right there. New song. Duplicate this song. Delete this song. Song one. Yeah, loop this song continuously. But hopefully you guys get the idea. You can mess with all this again. You go back to your game. Go back to these things. You can change the room uh, with, the, with the different... T you can change... There's the default exit. You went outside to play. The end. You went outside to start your next mission. You must now assassinate crypto from Apex Legends. That's my new script. Um, so again, tiles, game, room. We don't want exits. We don't want sprites. That's that's the disc. There you go. World. So this is how you would build the world. Then the black one. I hope you heard that dice show. Would edit like put like paths through it that you couldn't pass. So like let's say you wanted to block off this section for whatever reason or spell spell out a stupid word. Um. Like, or. That was supposed to be a person. But I screwed it up real bad. Good thing I can fix it. There you go. Happy face. But that's it, guys. All the tools you need to make a Playdate game are here. Mine's terrible. I know it. But uh, you can do the script. You can do the song. Change your level. And then actually, once you go through that door, supposedly. Let me see if mine works. See if I designed it correctly. You found... A floppy disk. Let me go touch the computer again. Make sure the script working. Uh, I should have touched it before to see the message about saving. Kill cost it because he's dumb. All right, now we go to the computer. Oops, you found all the floppy disks. You use the disk to save twitch.tv. The end. You went outside to start your next mission. You must now assassinate crypto from Apex Legends. The end. So you guys, you guys get the idea. There is a way within here to build other rooms. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to do that. 
maybe new room right there. Room two. So we are going to do, we're going to block off all this. And where is it going to spawn me? I, I guess we'll use the character thing to spawn me, right? Player. So you start here. And right now, and again, you can add stuff to this. You can add... Get those discs. There should be another computer. Computer. Player. Now we need an exit. So you got to place your exit. I'm going to place mine right here. And then uh, this is room two. So then we're going to go to play. I don't know why my song's not working. Though. I botched that part. And here we go. We're moving. And again, you can actually export these files. And hypothetically, they can become Playdate games, which you would play not with this interface, but with the crank on the side of the device. And I save Twitch.tv again. Here's the crank thing right there. How to use the, the crank. You can actually edit those settings right there. So I don't know how I failed with the, with the music that's bothering me. But there is a way in here to uh, put that in your game. And I just, I just failed at it. And loop it like that. Maybe you have to save it? Is that right? Oh, I don't know if that's the way it works. Let me export it. I actually... Pulp songs. I think I put it on my desktop, right? Now sound. Import. Pulp songs. Did it work? Nope, I failed. But you guys get the idea. Go make your own Playdate games and ask your questions in the comments.